Hi friends, in this video I'm going to explain user interface of the FreeCAD, how to change the UI. Um, you can uh, see the, this is the, after installing the FreeCAD, you can observe that this is the white skin you can observe on the tools and the edit view and the tool, how to change this, I will explain. And go to the edit, on the edit you can um, available the preferences and click on the preferences and go into the general option you can observe and change the language you can also change the language i'm going to the style sheet dark blue and the size of the toolbar icon is large 32 px you can observe the style bar is changed to dark blue you can observe the dark blue screen on the back side you can observe on the palette you can observe the size of the uh, toolbar icons i'm changing to 48 page how it is look like it will show you in the background you can observe the 40 it is like this i'm giving the medium it is looking somewhat uh, small it is going to the large 32 px i'm giving and click on apply and click on off there uh, okay button you can observe that this is the uh, startup screen on the splash screen at the startup enabling option i'm going to the draft on this series i will explain the drafting workbench i'm clicking on the apply and click on okay after the starting the draft will appear uh, without changing the workbench you can observe the document is kept as like that and output window is kept as default only and macro this is as kept as like that what are the icons are there i am going to the unit styles you can observe the unit styles over here and the system unit is standard mmkg i'm giving and click on default like this and click on apply and click on ok the general tab is completed you can observe the the ua of the interface of the icons is changed and the uh, color is also changed on the back side on going to the display what you do you can observe the 3d navigation you want to 3d navigation click on the option called cad and the orbit style click on the turntable and msa 4x click on the anti aliasing you can observe the new document of the orientation click on the top orientation first we want to develop the drawing the top orientation is there i'm clicking on the default as top you want to zoom, zoom strips you can give the zoom strip and go to the material size i'm giving the uh, marker size to 9px and the select color you can observe and click on ok to the enable backlight color and intensity of the backlight you want to change the intensity of the blacklight you can also i'm giving to the orthogonal orthographic rendering you can observe the this is the color palette you can observe the colors you want to change the color to the uh, workbench where the work you've done you want to color first select the object these are the selection objects of the colors after drawing the object you want to select and delete this color will appear i am doing this by using the simple color after simple color i am giving the black you can observe that the black skin is affected on the back side you can observe on the grid lines the grid line is same as default and color gradient you want to give the color gradient of three different colors you can give the screen also i will show you i am clicking on the black color here i am going to click on the black color three i am giving to the black same as black you can observe the three color on the this is called the middle color click on the middle color and click on ok after that you can observe the color gradient is uh, black i want to change slightly bit to the lighter to the dark color you can with the darkish you can click on apply because this is applied the middle color is somewhat darkish you can observe it is changed and the color gradient and go into the color i want similar to that and similar to this i am click on the dark color somewhat and click on ok you can observe the after click on the ok you can observe the the dark color will appears on the screen and after the appearance of the dark color you want to change the some of the gradient color to lighter color of the media media and go into the preferences again and go into the edit and go into the preferences same as on the display option go to the 3d view side on the colors you can change the color gradient to somewhat lighter i'm somewhat lighter i'm giving click on apply and click on ok after anything you want to change click on the apply and ok if not it is uh, the options will not change you shut down the one of so shut down the software and reopen the software again then it will the effect will appear uh, clarity you can observe that this is the black color on the black color middle line change it to somewhat darker how much output you want to achieve then you give the color like this i am i am satisfied with this color you can see somewhat lighter shade is there and somewhat two total black is there and somewhat lighting shade is can affect on the scene on the light skin this is the grid how to change the grid i will explain in the next tutorial uh, and you can observe the uh, grid lines this is the grid lines will appear so you can also change the grid in the drafting workbench and go into the preferences again you can zoom the general is completed and the display properties these are the basic properties you want to change uh, of the options if the options you want to change click on the preferences on the edit 
no command is there go into the edit and the preferences and you can observe the you want to change the object uh, colors on the part colors you want to give the part colors of changing the any of the icons change this if you want to give the line width to somewhat uh, more width you required while drawing give the line width to 2px and default vertical vertex size you want to give the 2px and the backline curve give, i'm giving gas white you can observe as default and this is the user interface i changed it before the what is after the installing the software keep on changes like this then it will done the user the interface will appear like this you can observe on the screen it looks nice nice you can observe the draft and go into the 2px you can observe the 2px is edited and in this two colors are there i will explain in the in detail in my next tutorials you can also drag the tools you can observe the how much tools are there you can have drafting tools you can also drag this to the anywhere you want you can observe that this is the panels on the left side you can observe the labels and attributive panel and the property value panel these are the panels you can also on and off the panels by using on the view here you observe the view and these are the different types of views and top view side views are also isometric views are also available in this and go on to the preferences after giving the preferences you go on to change the display you can change the display you want to general you go on to change the part color so you can also change the part color and go into the document properties you can also give the document properties as you wish you can also change the languages first unit is required uh, should unit in mmr inches i have what you want you can give the meters or mm and you can observe that this is the interface is completed next i want to explain with the some of the file edit view tools macro some is there you can observe that this is the file you can also save by using the file and print by using the file and edit you can observe some of the options are there and the view can see the appearance tab is there and the random color you can give the random colors and toggle visibility by using the space and go to the stereo and go into the standard uh, views are the different types of views you can also these are mostly helpful you can also drag this drop onto the screen you want the tool is very much needed from so this is the tools and go into the macro macro is for the recording some of for i will explain in later that is i'm going to the full screen here you can also the full screen is the full screen also by using the toggle the full screen i want to give the save the picture and uh, you can also save the picture in this the important is uh, same like preferences you can observe the customize toolbar on the tool list you can observe the different types of tools that you want to delete the tools um you want uh, for example you want the some of the workbenches you want you can also remove the workbenches by using this this is the keyboard you want to give the shortcut keys you can also give the shortcut keys what you are using these are the different types of workbenches you can also disable the workbenches and enable the workbenches and export or import changes you want to macros you can also change by using this customized tools you can observe the different types of workbenches are there you can also give the units calculator and give the unit calculator for example give the sum of the value it gives the by units while clicking you can give the Uh, values by using this using this calculator by while drawing the object you can observe the the toggle basement is there you can observe the different types of drafting uh, options are there the, the command shortcuts are also available you want to know the uh, commands you can see the commands li line for li like this in order get you can observe the l is the shortcut command here is li this is the open source free software every can use it observe the the free cad i will show the about the free cad you can also check on the website is the completely free version i am not download the 0.18 in the four uh, release number you can observe the windows 10 i am giving the 64 bit of uh, software version you can observe the 64 bit processor you can observe that the windows is the task is there and the model is there task is there after giving the any of the line any of the object it will appear so i will i will explain the next you can observe the open cascade you can observe the you want to go into the touchpad you can give the touchpad i'm giving the cad over here you can observe the, the mouse and you can observe the inches how much is zooming by using the scroll key you can also by using the cube you can rotate this cube by using the view by reviewing the views you can observe you want some of the top view is required in the some views it is top view side view and the isometric view and the side view and the back view you can observe different types of views are there by using this cube also you can achieve the different types of views what you want here you can observe the draft by using the any of the lines you click the lines and you can make the lines by using by using the grid off simply off the grid those will also explain and you can observe the windows you can panel this is the help panel this is the macro and you can observe the 
this is the different types of workbenches i will show you that these are the different work we actually we are in the drafting workbench i want to change the different types of workbench simply go on to the workbench styles you can observe the top on the red button you can observe on the macro button the top is draft is there you want to change the workbenches you can also change the workbenches by using the uh workbench you can observe the different types of softwares you want to convert the drawing to dwg um then also it is possible by using the file format setting we'll show in the next tutorials you can observe the this is the drafting you can observe the drafting we are in the drafting workbench if you redirect to, or to the if you change the any of the workbench to other workbench for example how it show i will show you and you can observe the this is the drafting workbench first of all go into the art architectural um but when you can observe that some of the 3d models will highlighted same as constants uh, same as drafting some of the components you want the part components is required for example the part workbench is required to design the part model 3d parts this workbench will you can also remove this workbenches here what are the workbenches you want you can also uh, put by using the customize toolbar you can observe the customizes option is there you want to draw the drawing you can also import the file and export the files to the free cat it is completely free software you can observe the create the objects what are the object is there in the you can our tasks you can make this by using the drafting workbench i will explain in this series on the about the drafting workbench only by using the simple floor plan in my next tutorials i will see in the in my next tutorial